In this video, I'm reviewing the Mr. Coffee Latte Iced and Hot Coffee Maker, so let's get started. Inside the box is a single serve coffee maker with a reusable coffee filter and a brewing basket which the coffee filter will sit in. There is a built-in water reservoir that holds up to 16 ounces of water and each level is individually marked 4 ounces, 6 ounces, 8 ounces, 12 ounces and 16 ounces when you close the lid you just need to make sure the lever is on the coffee side otherwise the lid won't close and the lid has a picture chart of what size cups and scoops to use for the type of drink you want to make so this is really handy On the side of the machine is the scoop storage which holds the double sided coffee scoop which has measurements printed on it to help you make a perfect coffee water ratio. I'll just use my tablespoon here to measure exactly how much the scoop is if you don't have one of these nice big scoops to measure the coffee. So the smaller scoop measures about two and a half tablespoons. For hot coffee and then the bigger scoop for iced coffee measures I'd say about three and a quarter tablespoon. It also comes with a frother which has a stainless steel interior with markings for how much milk to use for latte and cappuccino and a protective silicone sleeve for when it gets hot. The one piece removable whisk is magnetic and you also need to be careful not to touch the hot plate where the frother sits. It also comes with a 22 ounce double wall insulated iced tumbler. And this also has indications of how much water and ice to add to make the perfect iced coffee. And the tumbler comes with a lid and a straw. You want to make sure to wash everything out first and also wipe clean the unit before you use it. Once you've washed everything out, insert the empty filter basket into the unit and fill up the tumbler up to the water level and pour this into the water reservoir and we're going to run a cleansing brew just to flush out the system. Plug in the unit and then you can use the tumbler or I'm just going to use a jug so that I can test the temperature of the water. Press the hot brew button and 16 ounces took about 2 minutes and 8 seconds to brew and the temperature came out to about 168 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay throw this water out and then you're ready to brew your first cup of coffee. Using the smaller side of the scoop to make hot coffee, I'm going to add one and a half scoops of coffee grounds to the coffee filter. I'm using a medium roast. You can add two scoops if you prefer it a little stronger. Slide the lever over and add four ounces of water. You can see that the water is all the way to the top covering the four ounce mark. Then close the lid. The buttons on the right side are to brew coffee the top one for hot and the bottom one for cold. The buttons on the left are for frothing milk. Again, the top one for hot and the bottom one for cold. So I'll press the hot brew button. Four ounces will take about one minute and 50 seconds to brew. I'll let you hear the sound of the coffee machine brewing while you're also watching me froth my milk. I want to make sure the frothing whisk is attached properly. I'll add milk up to the latte marking shown in the frother, which is seven ounces of milk. You can hear the coffee almost coming to an end. And then press the hot froth button located on the left side.
Again, I'll let you hear the sound of the frother. It takes about 3 minutes and 55 seconds to froth hot milk. Even with the silicone sleeve around the frother, it's still very warm to touch. But just take a look at the amount of thick froth it's made. Let's pour it all out. First the milk will come out and then all that froth will just layer on top. And here is the wonderful latte. For cappuccino, I'm going to prepare the milk first. The cappuccino mark measures six ounces of milk. And this time I'm going to use regular full fat homogenized milk. Although I actually prefer to make my coffee with Fairlife milk because it's creamier. And you can notice the difference of this milk compared to the Fairlife milk I used for the latte. I wanted to give you guys a comparison if you've never tried Fairlife milk. That is if it's even available to you. And it took about 3 minutes and 18 seconds to make 6 ounces of hot froth. This time I'll add 6 ounces of water and press the hot coffee button. I am going to speed the video up a little, it doesn't make it this quickly. Because the coffee machine was already hot, it took about 1 minute and 29 seconds this time. I love making my coffee this way because it just pushes all that froth up and makes these beautiful looking layers. For iced coffee, I'll fill up the tumbler to the water line and pour it into the water reservoir and it will be 10 ounces. Then fill up the tumbler all the way to the top where the ice marking is. Then I'm using dark roast for iced coffee so that the coffee has more flavour. The ice and water will dilute the coffee flavour and since I'm making a large size, I want to make sure I use coffee with a slightly stronger flavour. I'm going to use one and a half scoops. Again, you can add two scoops if you prefer it more stronger. And then press the over ice button. While that's dripping away, I'll prep my milk. I'm going to use Fairlife milk and measure four ounces. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of sweetened condensed milk. My coffee is done and I'll quickly check the temperature which started at 44 degrees Fahrenheit then dropped very quickly to 37 degrees Fahrenheit because of the ice. Next pressing the cold foam button and because the condensed milk is very thick and sticky it's not whisking so I have to give it a little mix. And then it'll start whisking. Cold froth takes about 1 minute and 58 seconds and although it didn't look very foamy, probably because it doesn't whisk as long as the hot option does, but when I poured it out it actually was really creamy and foamy. Just look at that, it looks great. And you can drizzle on some syrup if you like, but I wanted to just show it to you in its true form. Look at that, looks amazing. And it tasted great thanks to the sweetened condensed milk and also the water, ice and coffee ratio was perfect. Overall, the Mr. Coffee Iced Hot and Cold Latte Coffee Machine is a great choice as it offers versatility. Whether you're in the mood for a steaming hot latte or a refreshing iced coffee, this machine does it all. You don't need to buy another coffee machine to use in the summertime for iced coffee. It comes with its own scoop, a tumbler and a hot and cold frother. So that makes it so much more convenient to use. You don't have to worry about buying all these extra accessories since they're all included in the box. This one has the option to brew at the perfect cold temperature which won't melt and dilute your coffee drink. So you can make your own creative drinks any time of the year thanks to its user friendly design. Another good reason is you get to use your own choice of coffee grounds based on your taste preferences. So you're not limited to the pre-packaged pods or specific brands. Plus you're reducing wastage and it's much more environmentally friendly. 
It's a good idea though to run a clear water brew after each cup or every few cups so that you can enjoy a clean and flavorful cup of coffee each time. Trust me, you'll notice the difference. Here I'm running one and you can see I've only done a few cups of coffee but uh, you can see the coffee grounds here in the water. Plus it's good maintenance for the coffee machine as well. It'll avoid all these coffee grounds building up in the machine. Similarly, washing out the frother after each use will prevent any residue from accumulating. So the milk will always taste fresh and delicious every time you froth instead of a burnt milk taste. You can see here, I just heated up some milk and I have a little bit of milk residue at the bottom of the frother here. I do have to mention one small thing though, sometimes the coffee tends to splash on the counter, which can be a little bit messy. But you know, this usually happens if you use a shorter mug. So you can uh, use a taller mug and that should prevent any splashes on the counter. The frother does however tend to be a little finicky at times, especially with full fat homogenized milk. At first I thought I didn't attach the whisk properly, but then again the second time it didn't froth. And then the third time I got lucky because I was actually planning to just give up after that, but uh, I got it to work the third time. So I do sometimes have to try a few times and a lot of the times I just prefer to use the lactose free milk and I don't seem to have this issue with that milk. All right guys, I hope you found the review useful. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a like. If you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing and I hope to catch you in my next video.